This is a little video from a brand new beginners. We've been working on the skill of playing by ear. So this is to have a listen and a little check and a look at the technique when we play Old MacDonald. Going to start on C. So we had so many middle C's to repeat in the middle of our piece. So what you need to do is check that your thumb is working correctly, lifting and lowering. You can use whichever thumb you like, exchange them sometimes, try the left for the repetition, try the right for the repetition, make sure the knuckles stay lifted and the fingers curved. You don't want to drop the hand, we don't want the fingers lifted keep the knuckles lifted, the fingertips in touch with the keys, lifting and lowering of the thumb. Now, as a little tiny bonus trick, we're going to talk about something that you wouldn't really do until much later on with some super complicated repertoire, but let's talk about this concept now. Normally when we repeat notes, we don't repeat with the same finger. So we wouldn't really play and keep repeating with the same thumb. I'd like you to do that because I need us to work on this exercise with our thumbs lifting and lowering. But let's just have a little sneaky look ahead at something that we would do, which is quite fun actually, when we would repeat notes. So we would use different fingers. Have a little look at this. I'm going to use my right hand like a little hammer and let the weight fall into the keys whilst I exchange my fingers. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. And then I'm going to go. Four, three, two, one, two, one. So instead of having to stay still with the hand and repeat the thumb, which at this speed is fine. I'm happy for you to do that at this speed because it's a great exercise for this thumb. But say if we were going to play Old MacDonald as fast as we could, we would, we would ine in inevitably have too much tension by repeating the same finger over and over again. So if we were playing this as fast as we could, we would go um, here and there. We use that technique in much more um, complicated repertoire later on, but it's good fun to have a look at these things already, isn't it? And for some of you, it might be possible to have a little go at that. Three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, two, one. So I'm just using these fingers like little hammers going into the keys. Three, two, one, three, two, one. It's like a first little drop, bounce, bounce. It's like when you drop a tennis ball. Bounce, 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 bounce. It's like our hand. Three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, two, one. At speed. So have fun. We will generally be playing this at a much slower speed. Just checking with this little lever of the thumbs. Remember, if you're brand new to playing, we said that this is like a castle. Lifted, strong, don't collapse, lifted. And this is like the entrance gate. Lift the gate and lower the gate, but don't let this castle collapse. Lifted and strong. Okay, so if you'd like to play with the accompaniment, you will find that on one of the other tracks here on YouTube and have fun.